Hi, I'm Maya Navipour. Welcome to the virtual 2020 Nisqually Watershed Festival. Every year at the festival, we do salmon printing, which is a fun way to honor the return of the salmon to the Nisqually River every fall. Uh, today, we have our volunteer, Linda, who's gonna show you how to do the salmon print and how to take care of it. I'm Linda. I'm a volunteer at the Nisqually Wildlife Refuge Complex. And the first thing I want to say is some of the supplies you're going to need. You need a clean t-shirt and a smooth wash it, or a mask in this day and age, or a tea towel, or an apron, anything that's cut. Also, you need clothes that you don't mind getting paint on. I use these every year. Um, gloves, not mittens. You need the fish. That should have been on the top. That's the most important. And we need paint. It's a special acrylic paint that's good on clothing. Paint brushes. Don't use finger paint. Newspaper. Uh, paper bowls, paper towels, or wet wipes and a rinse container, trash container, and you need something to hang it until it dries. Okay, so let's get started. Here is our salmon. And, oh, make sure the paint is a little thinner than what it comes out. Here is one that is quite thick. So I'm going to drop a little bit of water in there. Oops, maybe not that much. And I'm going to Move it all around, mix it all up nicely. So then we're going to have a paint that's a lot less thick, or not as thick. For example, here is some that I already did. Now I'm going to paint. Usually I tell the children, all the adults, because sometimes there's lots of adults, you know, don't forget the fins, the gills, the eye and the mouth. This sharp teeth. Okay, so here we go. Um, my colors. I think I'm going to do a little bit. Another thing, you don't want it too thick because I suggest that you want some of the scales to show. It really makes a difference. And here we go. Everyone happy? I hope you don't have any questions. If you do, once Miss Squally opens, you can come in and ask me. I'll be there on Thursdays. Yep. Just waiting for my t-shirt. Okay. How's that? If you're doing this outside and the sun is hitting it, you might want to spray it just a little bit to, so it doesn't um, doesn't dry out. Okay, Maya, you ready? Oops. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to pick this baby up, and Maya's going to put a fresh piece of newspaper down so that when we do this and put the print on it, we won't have any ugly prints. Now it's there, and the thing we do is we do not rub. We tap. Maya, you want to do that on your end? One, two, three. Ah, wait a minute. 
good thing we have masks on. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that great? Now for the care. You want to set the fish print, and that's important. I did not do that with my first one, so I went to the gym the next day on a Sunday, and I, I was very happy. I wore my t-shirt without doing all the things you need to do, and of course you start sweating, and that gets the smell activated. So, uh, don't do that. Make sure you do what you have to do first. Make sure your iron gets to the highest temperature. And then you're going to place aluminum foil on an ironing board. And you're going to iron it slowly. Keep it about 15 seconds to 25 seconds in one place. And then move it. All right, and that will set it. When it's time to wash the t-shirt or the tea, tea towel, you're going to turn it inside out. I can't turn this inside out. And you're going to wash it in warm or cold water. Don't use bleach and don't use white mist. Remove it immediately. And there's a reason for that. Dry it on low or air. Don't dry it wet or air dry it. That's what happened when I did not follow the washing instructions. So be careful. Thank you. We want to thank the Nisqually tribe for providing this fish. This came from the Clear Creek hatchery um, and it was used to spawn to make the next generation of salmon. And once we clean all the paint off, it will go back into the river to feed all of the animals that eat the salmon carcasses when they're done spawning.